Here's the nudge demo for Google Slides. Now, what you can see on board is I've sized the window to a nice 16 by 9 and viewing in compact mode. So what's this all about? Have a look at the keyboard shortcuts, and I found this by accident the other day. So we have a bunch of shortcuts, and scrolling down to the bottom, you can see it says, while moving with the keyboard, shift nudge one pixel at a time. This is the thing that I'm going to show you now. So already in here we've got a slide which is just designed for this purpose. Now if I click on the object on the right, which is more or less a grey square, and I'm using the left, right, up and down arrows. Left, right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can see it's making some movements. Now this is what I want to show you, so I'm going to press and hold down the shift key and then nudge to the left. Watch. Very tiny movements, one pixel at a time. One pixel, one pixel, one pixel. Now, one, two, three. I'm just going to try and put it back to the beginning and I can tell you um, what this looks like. So already with an object we have got, if I try and move up and down, I want to have both objects um, in a horizontal line. So in other words, when I move and I keep moving and you'll see that there is a horizontal red line saying that I am horizontally center lined and let go. Okay. So similarly with this little uh, nose object down the middle here, I can move that around, so just drop it, move it back and it will tell me that I'm aligned on the left corner, keep going, line on the right corner, somewhere in there, it's going to tell me I'm in the middle, and there it is. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you one more thing, which is what I've just done. So zoom in to 200, say for example, you can see these objects. So here is the object on the right, which is selected. Left arrow, one click. You can see it jumps quite a lot and going back. By holding the shift key down, it goes one, pixel at a time and that's what I'm showing you with this so what I've used to fit to 89% again I've used Google Slides I'll make this document available to the public immediately after this broadcast ends so remember just a tiny bit on the end to say that there are a bunch of shortcuts to do with Google Slides I really like this because uh, Google Slides is something that can be used for lots and lots of graphic things, not about presentations, about preparing graphics um, for use in millions of places, including Hangouts. One example I'm just going to show you to end is to say if I take a shape like a circle and just make the shape like that, and I want to line it up, and at the moment it's in the middle of nowhere, all I need to do is hold it, and if I want to lift it up, and you can see that there's lots of, as I move, lots of red lines. And these are snapping to the other objects that are in place. See that one there? So that's centered to this one. If I wanted to put it in the absolute middle of the whole page, then I just need to keep, and there it is. So that, believe it or not, is in the middle of the whole page. If I want to, you see there's vertical lines there. I can bring it down to the bottom. If I wanted to put it near to the date, I can keep going. And that is, believe it or not, lined up with the date. There's loads of stuff you can do here. The other one, which I will just show you, because I'm just keeping going now, is to snap to a grid. And what that means is as you, you move it around, it is just taking a grid. You can't actually see the grid, but you can see that when, for example, when I go up and down, nothing happens. And if that happens to you, then just go back to snap to guidelines. And then you'll see it's down there. So I could just put it down there for... That's excellent. That's new, that is, that piece. That's new. I know I've messed around with these objects, but you can see this. This is just so cool. And just, just uh, I always say a final thing, but this, uh, honestly, this is the last one. Watch the new help. Help. I need slides help. And you can see that there is the new pop-up there, which I believe is working Google Plus and across the Google products at the moment. So you haven't actually lost your slide. If you want to go to external help and explore it, then you can click here. Remember, if you like what you see, if you don't like what you see, whatever happens, please send feedback later. Thank you very much.